Welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time if you're new. I'm so glad you're here. Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about something that I find very exciting and I hope you will too. If you're anything like me, you've actually tried to improve your life over time by incorporating new habits. Maybe that's waking up a little bit earlier or going to the gym more. Maybe that's adding more vegetables to your diet or changing it up completely. These are things that we all try to do to improve ourselves, but it can be really difficult to keep that up over the long period of time. So today what we're gonna do is get into a proven technique to ensure that you can keep to your new habits over a long period of time and hopefully change your life. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, stick around because today we're going to be going over micro habits. We all go through periods of our life where we feel like we need to make a change. For a lot of us, that's what our New Year's resolution is really all about. But these changes don't need to occur on January 1st. Whether you're picking up a new technical skill or starting your fitness journey, there are some great ways to make sure that you actually stick to the new habit rather than burning out after two weeks, if that. You are what you repeatedly do, and habits are literally actions that you repeatedly take without thinking about them which is why they're the first place we tend to start when we want to make a big change in our lives. We all know the deal. Rome wasn't built in a day, and that six pack isn't going to pop up overnight. One of the best ways to really stick to a new habit for a longer period of time is to incorporate micro habits into the mix. Now, micro habits are exactly what they sound like. They are habits, but just kind of smaller. There are smaller habits that you can reliably perform every single day without really thinking about it. Take the goal of running 10 miles every day. We know that can be daunting, but when we start to break it down, we can find much more manageable tasks that are easier to turn into habits than running 10 miles every day. Maybe running 10 miles every day is scary or <laughs> painful, but how about running one mile? How about just a walk? But even going for a walk every day can be difficult. You need to find the time you might need to change your clothes. What's the weather like? With all of that, you might get overwhelmed just thinking about everything involved to the point where you just end up sitting on your couch with a glass of wine thinking about running. So we can break it down even further than that. Maybe you simply put on your walking shoes and stand outside. That was easy. There's nothing else to worry about there. You can put on your walking shoes, stand on your porch with that glass of wine, and just think about what running might have been like. But here's the thing, that's not really what's going to happen. When you put on those walking shoes and go outside, you're likely to want to take a short walk. When you're already out walking, you might want to walk a little bit further. If you're out walking a little bit further, you might want to walk uphill or make it a little bit more challenging. And before you know it, you're out on a 15 mile run and all the motivation you had to muster to get there was just to put on your walking shoes. That's right, we just went full Give a mouse a cookie on you. <laughs> that book was not based on nothing. Now, micro habits really allow you to take advantage of that just one more step idea. Running a marathon is hard. Taking just one more step is easy, or at least manageable. But a marathon is just made up of hundreds, no, thousands. I don't know, clearly I don't run marathons, but it is made up of a lot of one more steps. This type of habit can be used in all areas of our lives. Cleaning the kitchen, for example, might be a huge endeavor, but just taking out the trash is pretty easy, and it might lead to you filling up the trash can before you take it out. Want to write your memoir? <laughs> well, that's a big deal. But sitting down and just writing 100 words a day, again, that's fairly manageable. Here's the great part. If you end up writing 100 words, that's fine, because at the end of the month, you'll still end up with a few thousand words. The magic happens when tomorrow you sit down to write that 100 words, but you actually write 500 words. The next day you sit down to write those 100 words and you write 5,000 words, right? If you had set out to write 5,000 words every single day, you probably would have found it overwhelming and never kept to the habit. But writing just 100 words each day is a lot simpler. It's by implementing this kind of micro habit that gets you actually doing the thing, which is really the most important part, especially when forming a habit, consistently doing a thing every single day is really what gets you to form that habit, even if it's just the smallest thing, like writing 100 words or just putting on your running shoes. It's 
doing the thing every single day that is the most impactful part of keeping to a new routine, making any sort of change, is actually doing the thing. I just wanted to, to hammer that home, or I don't know the, the metaphor here, but you get my point, okay? Doing the thing. So if you wanna run a marathon, just put on your walking shoes every day for a month and see where that takes you. Probably further than if you set a goal to run 10 miles every day and quit after a week. Well, that's it. That's the video. I hope you found some sort of value to it, whether it's entertainment, knowledge, hopefully both. If you liked it and you want to see more content like that, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below about what you liked and honestly what you didn't like because I'm here to bring value to you and getting your honest feedback is the best way for me to do that. So make sure you subscribe to that channel, hit the notification button, leave a comment, hit the like button, do all the thingy things. Maybe you watch that video over there. Do it all. I'll see you next time.